Okay, we're back, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna say hi. Hey, uh, say hi to that camera right there. There you go. There you go. That's the Dennis Arcoyo doppelganger right there, playing Jim Burt. Now, yeah, I know you guys are gonna get a chuckle out of this. Give me a thumbs up if you if you think that uh, this guy looks like uh, Dennis Arcoyo. <laughs> Kevin Tang. Kevin Tang. And they're playing race to four, one loss match. Yeah, Jim's playing probably better than everybody I've seen. Hey, Jim. You're playing better than everybody I've seen all day. <laughs> I like you for this tournament. A good nap. <laughs> I swear, he's playing better than anybody I've I've seen all day. Maybe Sherelle Ivy's playing a little better. I don't know. We'll see. What's up? How you doing? Want to thank Sherelle Ivy for stepping up to the plate again. She's the tournament director, the hostess with the mostess, and uh, weird vibes tonight at the, the hard times, huh? You played to do. How'd you do? No, you didn't do too good. Yeah. All right, so here we go, guys. This is uh, this is um, Kevin or, or Colio. I mean, uh, Kevin Tang versus uh, <laughs> versus Jim Burt, and there he's gonna warm up too. He wants to warm up a little bit as well. Hey, who brought this guy? You brought him, right? You brought him. Yeah. Mike. Mike from Inland Empire brought him. You guys know each other, huh? You and Ashton, you know each other? Yeah. Yeah, Tap League, yeah. Yeah. Why is that? Is he he's pool royalty down there? Are you? Are you like... Did we make you famous five years ago or what? Yeah. <laughs> right on. I'll be right back. This match is starting right now. Race to four. Race to four, right? Race to four. Okay. Doesn't he look like Dennis? Come on. <laughs> he probably is hating this already. I asked him to sign my ball earlier. Will you sign my ball? <laughs> sign my, uh, my cue ball, man. Okay, he doesn't shoot like him. Okay. <laughs> Come on, you guys got to start this match. Let's go. This is the one last side. You don't get more than five minutes warm up. Got to get this match going, kids. Hmm. Little jabby. I showed this picture to uh, to Kevin. I said, uh, you know, you look a little bit like Dennis. He said, no, man, Dennis is bald, bro. I'm not that bald.
All right, here we go. Race to four. These guys, these boys are finally getting in the groove here. Starting their match. Chop, chop. Let's go, guys. Come on now. Let's move this tournament along. They're already talking about chopping. Speaking of chop, chop. Hey, come on. Let's, uh, let's, play, let's play a $20 saver. Maybe they got a $20 side bet. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, Rochambeau for the break. Rochambeau for the break. All right. All right, let's see the break here. His warm-up was not amazing. Thank you. So at Ukaipa Billiards, there's a, there's a tournament going on brought to you by D-Real Promotions, Ukaipa Billiards. There's a Jack and Jill, cues for the cures charity Jack and Jill Scotch Double Tournament happening at Ukaipa Billiards October 26th 2019 and I think they're almost full but I don't know you might want to just check it out I don't know Dexter Real Dexter Real I don't know how he likes to, does he like to be called Dexter Real call me real yeah he's got his tournament coming up October 26th. You want to you want to contribute to charity and um, have some fun in a Jack and Jill Scotch Doubles tournament. They were maxed out at 32 teams. Okay, 32 teams. It's going to be played on bar tables. Race to three on the winners. Race to two on the losers. And uh, forty dollars a team. Half the money is going to charity, and the other half is going to the prize fund. So, you know, you're playing to have fun. I don't know if it's eight ball or nine ball. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Let's see. Eight ball tournament. Goodness, look at where that five ball landed. Jim's not going to try to run this out. I can tell you that now. I mean, break out, maybe he's going to try to break it out. And he scratched trying to break it out. Probably, yeah, better off not even trying to make that and just playing safe. John Walling played a kick shot that I was talking about last night. Where he said it was a bad kick shot because you can scratch. I will I will do the shot after this match. Or if there's a break in this match. I don't think there will be though. Because it's a race to four.
the way I kick it, the way I kick it, there's no chance of scratching at all. So Jim already realizes he's in the kind of a wild match here. Jim didn't even try to make it, I don't think, because look where his cue ball is. He went, he went straight for the nine ball. He's got his hat off now. Now he looks more like Dennis. Okay, you're right. I mean, he doesn't have the same hairline as Dennis. Nailed it. Nailed it. Great shape on the eight. A little straight, but that's okay. Hi, Dave. What do you feel like doing? You want to sit down and sweat? Or you want to take a quick break? I'll be right back. Yeah, 1-0 gym. I'm going to be right back. I have... Uh, some business to tend to.
Kevin Tang's up 2-1. But Jim's got ball in hand. Gave away a cue today. Al Garcia won the cue, the West State Billiards Warrior cue. Only a hundred bucks, but this thing plays like it's a like it's a five hundred dollar production cue. It's crazy. I'm not kidding. Check it out, West State Billiards. Look up cues and uh, look up, search for the Warrior on WestStateBilliards.com. And then get your 16% off when you type in the POV pool promo code. Oh, Bert's up 2-1? Get out of here, really? I'll see what happens when the beads slide, but the Dennis Orcoyo look-alike, Kevin, he, um, he said he was up. Okay, Bert's up 2-1. That's crazy. I, I asked them both. Jim didn't argue it. <laughs> People do things like that. They're nervous on camera, so they don't really listen and they don't really respond correctly. That happens sometimes. When you're nervous on camera. Maybe he thought I said who won the last game. He was wrong, says Michael Dabb. In the Ghost Town Goblin, Harry Cohen. All you guys watching right now, thank you. Give us a thumbs up. The Goblin says the Orcolio looks high. <laughs> Yeah, Dennis or Dennis Orcoyo is playing right now. Hey, Butch, what you want to do? What you want to do? Yeah. I want weight. I need weight. I need weight. <laughs> How much can I carry, he says. <laughs> How much can I carry? One pocket. Oh, he wants to play any game with me. Butch wants to play me. I like Butch. He's good action. No time. He's got to work tomorrow. He's going to take off early. Uh-oh. Uh, you know, Jim's still got to, like, close out these games, you know. What? Put it on the stream? <laughs> this guy, look at me. Guys, give me the thousand-yard stare over here. Yeah, Jim still got, he still has to perform, folks. Come on now. Hey, wait, wait. Shh, 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 shh. Jim's shooting right now. Stop it. Stop. He's going to be mad at me now. Ha! I'm sorry, Jim. That's going to tie it up at 2 2. Just keep it down. Keep it down. Pff, 
pre pretty much every shot that Robocop takes. Should we just call him Robocop? <laughs> or we'll say the Robocop. Something. Dennis Arcoyo. He looks a lot like him. He he said, "Who's that?" And I think he's kidding, right? Like I think he's he's got to be joking. He could make a living, right? Being a Dennis impersonator. <laughs> Come on, you show up to pool tournaments and be like, it's Dennis Orcoyo, ladies and gentlemen. You know, like when you go to Hollywood Boulevard and you got Spider-Man, Batman, you take pictures with them. You got Wonder Woman, you got uh, Darth Vader, the Stormtroopers. <laughs> you know, he comes to pool tournaments. He's like, I'm Dennis. Yeah. I'm sure he's a nice guy. He's probably, you know, hard-working dude. Loves pool. Likes to play. You got to have, you know, a lot of respect for anybody that to makes a commitment to this game. Because it's one of the toughest games ever. And, um... He's showing a lot of heart, though, to come and play at the first Sunday. Right? He came with his buddy Mike. They're both from the Inland Empire area. Ashton Schaefer, he knows them. Ooh, Jim just speared that one ball in nicely. And now he's actually got good position, but the five ball and the six ball. I think the five ball passes the eight to the corner, but does the six ball uh, mean that he has to play to the short side of the six, I think. But anyway, we're on the three now. Uh, he doesn't want to be... Oh, God, he's going to be hooked. He's hooked. Playing rail first. Oh, this is... Uh, a lot of bad things can happen. He can scratch off the seven or into directly in the pocket. Oh, look, here we go. Pachanga. The three ball goes in. Two rails. Yep. Especially playing on this table. <laughs> so here we go. We got Jerry Brunstetter. He's on the winner's side with um, Steve Wilson. And he does not want to play on the stream. He, first of all... He, he, this table scares him. Second of all, he doesn't want to play on the stream. But I told him, it's mandatory, bro. You got no choice. You come and you play this event. And they added like 400 this month. So, because yeah, for every 10 players that, that sign up, they add 100 bucks. Yeah. If we got 100 players, this place would owe 1,000. Right? And you know so, some people want to come here and, and rob. And this is a perfect day for you to watch. For all you robber barons out there. So Jim's in really, really crappy position here. I, don't hit it that hard. No, no. Hit it soft because the five doesn't have a pocket already. Why you want to hit it hard to move the five into a position where there might be a pocket? Right. Oh, okay. He's he's playing. He's playing this guy who's swinging for the fences. What's he looking at? No, 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 sir. He's playing a five-nine combo. Wow. Uh, that was a foul. 
That looked like a foul to me. Was that a foul? I'm gonna play it back to myself. You know you guys can do that, right? You can, um... I think he double hit the cue ball. It was a miscue foul of some kind. No, maybe not. Maybe he got away with it. But you can do that. You can uh, you can play back the you can play back the 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 play bar of our live stream. You can select another speed and you can watch the shot again in slow motion if you want. Come on, you guys know this, right? You just take the play bar of our YouTube stream. And you just scrub it back like five seconds. In fact, you can even hit the arrow key. <laughs> you hit the arrow key and the um, scrub, the play bar will back up five seconds. So you can go 5, 10, 15, and then you can go select um, 0.5 playback speed, and you can play it in slow motion. <laughs> you can even have a second window up if your computer has enough RAM. You have a second window up, a second tab in your internet browser with the slow-mo version of, of the uh, live stream. I mean, it doesn't have to be slow-mo. It should be like the same speed. But then when you want to play it back, just so you don't lose your place on this live stream, you, when you don't... I mean, you guys, you guys follow me here? You don't want to lose... Uh, track of your original stream you just keep that stream to the side and you always play it and then you'll even be able to hear me commentate while you're doing a playback computers are fun and great and good and they make our lives simple so it seems many of those out there think that computers are ruining our livelihood. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. What is the score here? Three games to two. Jim Burt leads. And Kevin Tang um, politely moves his bead for him. Isn't that nice? In four games, he's tried four nine-ball combos. Okay, well, it's in it's interesting that Jim's giving him the chance. I know. We'll just have Jim Burt play every match for the rest of the night until he loses. So Michael D Dab says the foul on the five was. I, it looked like a double hit, but I'm not sure. I'm not 100%. It's really weird. I played it at 0.5 speed playback. Oh, five shot back of the rail. Kicked it into the queue back into his tip. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. But anyway, that was then. This is now. Mm, Jim. Jim's going to probably. He's going to try to play around the four ball here. 
but he probably will hit the four on the way out. Oh no, he plays it soft, makes it, and now he's got a, oh, I'm sorry, playing four next. He's a perfect angle here on the four to, to make the five, to make the five ball next. You can, you can easily just punch up natural position for the five here. That was a nice touch. I told you I like Jim Burt from here on for the rest of the tournament. He's playing better than anybody I've seen here play today. He was a contender here at hard times. He definitely was. And uh, there were some people that thought he should be handicapped earlier uh, throughout his career at the uh, hard times establishment. But uh, he placed a couple times. And then one day he just, he, he actually, I think he got upset and said, all right, fine, bring me up. And I think what it, it got a couple. There, there's some weird match that he had that somebody got really hot. I can't remember what happened. So now he's, he's a little bit torn here because on a normal table, you just jam this in, pop around two rails for the eight in the corner by the nine ball, but you can't just do that on this table. It's, it's weird. So he's playing the short side. It looks good. He put some thought into that, and he landed very nicely. I'm telling you guys, I like Jim for the rest of the night. Maybe toughest match he'll have if he gets to play him will be Marshall Jung. If he gets to see Marshall. All right, Kevin's eliminated from this event, and Jim Burt will move on. No nap for Jim. <laughs> Thanks so much to Kevin Tang for showing up today. Hope to see him again. We'll be back here in October, so I hope you guys come and join us in October. Hopefully the field will be a little stronger because it'll be cooler here. Uh, in uh, Southern California. Everybody's out surfing today. So uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. We got more action coming to you from POV Pool, sponsored by Simona's Cloth and um, West State Billiards. It's really nice to have you guys watching today. And uh, be sure to check out WestStateBilliards.com. If you shop online on their online store for the remainder of the year, all you got to do is use the promo code POV Pool and you'll get 16% off. You can find out from them more about that uh, everything with the exception of diamond products 16 percent off and they have virtual football fields of inventory in stock thanks again to west eight billiards and we'll see you guys in a minute ta-ta hi i'm donnie wessels with west eight billiards do you know we have been servicing the west coast for over 70 years we have just about everything you need for your game room. Arcades, poker tables, pool tables, shuffle boards, spectator chairs, air hockey, foosball, and have you seen the new Gold Crown 6 from Brunswick? Call us at 1-800-266-8914. WestateBilliards.com Hi, I'm Donnie Wessels with West State Billiards. Do you know we have been servicing the West Coast for over 70 years? We have just about everything you need for your game room. Arcades, poker tables, pool tables, shuffle boards, spectator chairs, air hockey, foosball, and have you seen the new Gold Crown 6 from Brunswick? Call us at 1-800-266-8914. WestStateBilliards.com Thanks everyone.